Hello, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I even play things, and I'm always here spending too much money on collectibles. Today we have a Hero Mail Day unboxing from a purchase I made off of eBay, and we're going to compare some of the Mythic cards from the different hybrid NFT trading card sets. This is my very first purchase that came from the eBay Vault program. I bought a card that I've been wanting to get in hand for quite a while and it was through the Authenticity Guaranteed eBay Vault program. I could have opted to have kept it in the eBay Vault, but I wanted it mailed to me because I really want this card in hand. It took a little bit longer because the seller had to go ahead and ship it to the authenticator, and then the authenticator from eBay mailed it to me. I know this program has been around for a little while, but this is the first time that I have made a purchase through it, and I'm fairly impressed with the packaging here. The box has a fair amount of tape that I was not quite prepared for. It looks to be bundled pretty well though to keep the trading cards safe. Now I am a hybrid NFT collector for Hero primarily. I have the full hybrid digital set, but I do not have any of the Chapter 1 Mythics in hand. This is actually one of the mythics and it will be my first time seeing one in person and the first one in my collection okay it looks like here in the package there is a cardboard folio ebay authenticity guarantee this is actually a nice little cardboard holder and even with a magnetic clasp at the bottom your collection is now upgraded. Collect, trade, repeat. All right, let's open it up. Authentic, without a doubt. Slowly scan this in case you wanna stop the video and read it. All right, and there it is. 2022 Hero DC Unlock the Multiverse Wonder Woman. PSA 9, A913. Let's take a look at it, closer look. The, this cardboard case is pretty nice. I'm, in, I'm impressed with it. This is a beautiful looking card. I am very happy to get one of these in hand. I opened a fair amount of Chapter One Hybrid NFT product, but did not get any of the Mythics. This is my very first. We can take maybe a little bit of a look at the back. You can see it has the eBay Void if Removed Authenticity Guaranteed sticker on it. This is my favorite of the Chapter 1 Mythics, and these are going for as low as two to $300 on eBay. I am really happy to pick these up at that price. I, I love these cards from two, two to $300. If I could go ahead and find the, a good deal on a Batman, I'll go ahead and snag that and then finally buy the Joker. I wanted to get this one first because it's my favorite out of the three. And then if I can get Batman, I'll go ahead and complete the set with the Joker. Now something else I wanted to do was compare the Mythics across all three sets now that I have them. Looking at this, this is a very kind of bright rainbow fo foil and much of the card is foil except some of Wonder Woman's costume and her skin, and then the some of the text at the bottom is foil. It's gonna be hard to get that on camera. I think you can see it right there. The lasso looks great when the light hits it. So the next mythic that was released was the events mythic. This one I was lucky, lucky enough to pull on one of my shorts videos, just doing a quick rip of one hero events pack of course, I bought many of those packs, uh, but this one came out in one of my shorts videos. This is the second one I've pulled. I pulled one months ago during SDCC. It is at PSA being graded right now, though. Should get it back pretty soon. We can kind of compare these side by side. So the foiling on the Chapter 1, to me, looks better. It's a little more subdued on the events mythic. I think it's partially due to the black background, 
the I love the artwork on this card. It is amazing, but the black is not quite as dark as I'd like it to be. Uh, the the contrast it just kind of isn't there, and maybe it's also because of the foiling. So there's not as much pop on the card. I think all the characters um, on the image on this are not in foil, and it, it looks like it's just the background. And we'll swap positions here just to account for maybe any lighting differences. I need to check where chapter one was printed. I know chapter two was printed in Belgium. Events were printed in the USA. I need to go back and see where the chapter one cards were printed. All right, and now let's compare to a chapter two mythic. The foiling is more similar. I will say that as far as the artwork goes, I think I do like the chapter two cards a little more. On the Wonder Woman, it's beautiful artwork, but a lot of it is just kind of um, a background, an empty background for the foiling. But in the Aquaman, this card is just packed full of cool art. Almost all of it is foil, except for Aquaman's face. And then similar with Mera. A really just jam-packed piece of artwork. And almost all of it is foil, including her eyes. Just some of her skin is not foil. And the bottom is pretty similar. It does look like the name is foil on chapter two. The name Wonder Woman is not foil on chapter one. We'll go back and look at the events card. Forgot to highlight that. The bottom is considerably different. The name and the set are in foil and there's this gold background on the left. I think I prefer the black background so that the gold hero logo pops out a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and compare the events to chapter two briefly. This makes the foiling seem more similar. And we'll compare with Mira and swap positions here. I, I do think the large amount of kind of washed out black on the events card um, does detract a little bit from it. And we'll show the PSA graded one again. The foiling on her lasso and her like gold armbands and headband really make those pop. Looks really great. I'm really happy to have picked up this card, especially at a great price. I paid less than $250 for this card. Um, I'm going to keep hunting and see if I can find the Batman for a good price, preferably slabbed, so I don't have to worry about preservation. Um, I don't mind, the, the grade doesn't matter as much to me. I'm not looking for a PSA 10. Uh, I'm thrilled to get a nine at the price I got this one for. I'd, I'm happy to get a seven or eight around the two, 250 range as well. Just as long as it's already encased and something I can guarantee is an authentic card. All right, that's all I have for this video. If you've enjoyed this type of content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That helps me know if I should invest more time into making content like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day.